the fans of this podcast and heard while are also big fans of the Dolan twins. They're like, obviously you guys know this phenomena that um, these two 18 year old dudes are just kind of rolling, like ruling the world right now. Really interested in how this started. How did you get, how did you get connected with the Dolan twins? Just before we played our LA show here in April, I got a DM from Grayson and I was like, oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, he just said that he loves our music. So we invited them along to the show and they came along. And um, at the show, I mentioned a bit about um, Sam's and my story about how we were best friends for like a long time and we were in denial about our sexuality and how we loved each other and everything. Um, and when I spoke about that, they said that that like really struck a chord with them and they wanted to do something to encourage people who were like experiencing similar things. So um, I think like a few weeks later we FaceTimed um, and they said that they had this concept for a music video to pretty much just promote the message that love is love. And um, Hawaiian Party is one of their favorites of our songs and it doesn't have a video. So they're like, are there any songs that like, have that sort of vibe um I was like why don't we just do it for that song like yeah and so we kind of yeah just planned it via email and that sort of thing and then we came over in August and shot it and they work so quickly it was like literally out like a couple of weeks later and it's like incredible Mm. they're so talented wow so I mean that really is just completely organic they were just like this dm you like what's up we like your music let's do something yeah, yeah. what do they like to work with like on on set like um because obviously one of them i always get them mixed up one of them was in it and the other one was directed what were, what were they what well first of all who was the director which one grayson. grayson grayson what was he like as a director amazing i can't speak highly enough of either of them they're they're just so amazing their um professionalism and their sort of commitment to promoting a positive message especially at such a young age is just genuinely inspiring um and Grayson was so on top of the directing he was just like it was like he'd been doing it forever and then Ethan um obviously smashed the the acting I think it was his first time acting um and just killed it what was one thing you didn't expect like was it something that sort of really surprised you about those two before going into it I don't know I guess I was surprised at how um I don't know together I, I know I wasn't that together at 18 and for just them to be on top of their game the way they are is incredible and to be so like chill at uh-huh. the same time it was just so yeah. easy it was yeah actually just like incredible seeing so many young creative people just like working together so incredibly and just kind of like making dreams come true was, yeah s- so inspiring hell yeah and whereabouts where where did you shoot it how long did it take? Who did you do? Were you involved in the casting? Hit me, hit me with all the production. Um, the part that we shot, it was actually just a couple of blocks from here in Hollywood, and we were only there for a few hours. And then they're like, "Sweet, you're done." And that they were working like around the clock for three days or something, shooting everything else. And they, yeah, they did all the casting and writing the storyboard for it and everything. It was actually really cool when we saw the video, we realized that there are like a bunch of um, people that were like, that we follow on Instagram and that sort of thing who are in the video and we're like messaging like, oh my goodness, I had no idea you were even in it. So, <laughs> really? Yeah. Damn. So they really just took took charge on it then. Yeah. yeah. Had you heard of the Dolan Twins before, before this? No, yeah. I, I like I had seen them in my Explore page on Insta and like that sort of thing, but I hadn't really like gotten into it or like watched their videos Mm. and I didn't really know what they were about. Um, But obviously I like got into it and watch their videos and stuff now. And yeah, they're such incredible guys. Mm, I hang out for a Tuesday now, whenever it comes out, we're like, Oh, the new video's out. (laughs) Yeah. Did you get much time? Did you get much time to hang out with them or was just on set, like in between takes and working with them? Yeah. We um, got dinner a couple of nights before shooting and yeah, I think we're going to try and catch up around our next LA show too. Yep, get them out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And did the um the video premiere on their YouTube channel or yours? Their that's, YouTube that's. channel. Yeah. Guys, this is nuts. Like just some of the, the <laughs> biggest online creators in the world are just like, 
hey, <laughs> we're going to hook you up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Literally a once in a lifetime is so cool. Yeah. And did you, have you, I mean, I noticed that on the, you know, on Instagram, it's like just anything to do with them is just like, you know, the likes and the views is in, in comments is insane. Have you seen a lot of their fan base sort of check out, check you guys out and, and, and start following you? Yeah. Our followers like doubled <laughs> just after that video and they're, I think because they spread such a positive message and we try to do the same thing through our like music and social media and that sort of thing, the the crossover with the fans has been really amazing and it's been cool seeing some of our diehard fans who didn't know much about the Dolan Twins sort of understand more about them as well and seeing our fans kind of become one, one like big happy like beautiful fan base <laughs> <laughs> just one big love in uh-huh. you know when uh, at the at the very start when the band was getting out of the uh, the volkswagen um i thought that was you, you guys was that supposed to sort of emulate you dudes or how do you how do you think they they came up with that part i i don't think so i think it was just sort of you know exactly the, the band yeah yeah just um part of their vision there's definitely some resemblance with like the the curly blonde hair and center part I was like, uh-huh. oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah nice and do you think i mean so in so much so many of the comments and stuff you see people all the fans like i don't know like visual or like i guess fantasizing about what those two guys are like you know they're like oh my god they're so this they're so that you know based on their online persona um what was your experience? Were they were they in real life? Were they like what you'd expect, or they were different, or were they more low key, or what do you think? No, I think with them, it's kind of what you see is what you get. They're just super lovely, normal. I don't know, nice guys. Right. Yeah. All right. Two thumbs up for the Dolan <laughs> twins, yeah. and that's uh, it's kind of refreshing. Oh, 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 oh.